All right, guys, welcome back to the tutorial video. My name is C Banks with Limitless Roleplay. Uh, today we're going to be doing an intro video on what to do when you first join Limitless Roleplay on 5M. So when you first join the server, uh, if you haven't seen my video on how to register your CAD account and how to clear your 5M cache, I'll link those in the description below. Creating your CAD account will uh, come back to after this video is when you'll need to register your CAD account, which is required to play on the server. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to connect via 5M, I'll post the server IP if you cannot find it on the server list uh, in the description below. And once you get in here, you're either going to spawn down in Los Santos or you are going to spawn in Sandy Shores. I've seen both. Um, if you are spawned in Los Santos and you're walking around, you're like, why is there no AI in the server? The reason is the AI has been disabled because of some issues with the one sync in 5M where the... Um, where the AI don't really like to get along with how the server runs and sometimes we'll have characters disappearing and uh, cars left stranded in the middle of the highway because of AI and it just creates a giant mess. So we've disabled it for now until a fix is released. So if you get spawned down in Los Santos, uh, we'll get to how you can get up to Sandy Shores momentarily. But the first thing you're going to want to do is when you join in is type slash register in the chat. So press T to chat and type forward slash register. And it's going to pop up this menu here. You should be able to move around your mouse. So you're going to create a first name. So I'm just going to say Carl. Last name, Gladfelter. You do not have to put in your for real first name and last name, nor your real date of birth or height. Um, doesn't matter. This is a role play server. So role play whoever you want to be as long as it is within the server rules and it is an appropriate name. Do not make a name that is inappropriate. So we'll say date of birth is 01. Uh, 01 1973 and he is 78 inches tall and we'll say he's a real gangster and we're going to select male and we're going to create that identity create wow look we just spawned so now we're going to get to go around and uh, maneuver through all of our um, skins and stuff like that so you can go through here and play with these menus as you wish with your arrow keys uh, that is what will happen there so go through, play with these menus as you wish to, um, and then once you get done with that, we'll just hit enter and save it. And you have created your character, so this is what I already had preset. So this will be your character, whatever you choose it to be. So that's when you slash register. So you want to make sure you get that character registered, um, and then that will give you your ID. So if I press page down on my keyboard, it gives us a citizen interaction menu. I go ID card, and if I say show my ID to me... Um, Oh, check my ID. I'm sorry. So we can see I just created Carl Gladfelter, 01-01-1973, male, height 78. And it gives you a nice little signature there. So this is what you'll hand to the cops if you ever get pulled over or anything like that. You page down muscle and you'll hit show your ID instead of check it. Uh, you can see, check your driver's license. So that's basically what we just pulled up there. Um, so this is my driver's license and my gun card, pretty much the same thing. Uh, there's my gun card. You will need to purchase a firearms permit from the ammunition if you do want a pistol. So you need a firearm permit. Um, and then again, if you you need to have all this reflected in CAD as well, you can go back and watch the video on how to register your character in CAD and get that all set up. I'll link that video in the description below. So after you've registered your character and you're stuck in Los Santos for some reason, what you can do is you want to pull up your phone first of all because you want to get your cell phone number. We have phones in the server with a dedicated cell phone number to your player. So if I go to my phone, you do that by hitting the F1 key, and you go down to settings using your arrow keys. Settings, and you can see my number. So my number is 1199369. So if you're stuck in Los Santos, you need to ride back. Uh, what you're going to do is open the chat box by pressing T, type slash add, like you're making an advertisement. Say, I need a taxi in Los Santos. Call me at my number. So 119 nine three six nine and then you hit enter and it would create an advertisement that pops up server wide that says that you need a taxi uh, so how do you know if there's taxi drivers online well hit your page up arrow key there and you can see so we have zero ems six cops online eight taxis online and one mechanic and then you can see all of the server uh, players that are on the server along with their associated id which is based on when you join so right now there's 73 of 128 um, and that's how you can see that you can see the chat kind of scrolling through there so that is what you're going to want to do when you first join the server. Now, go back. At this point, you need to go watch the how to register a character in CAD because you are required to have a CAD account in this server. If you don't have a CAD account, you will be jailed for 10 minutes and you will have to go make one. So save yourself the 10 minutes in jail and go make a CAD account. Now, uh, right now we're in Sandy Shores. Uh, we're just in back behind the Sandy Shores Police Department here. Um, 
So you should spawn in with some money. Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. Um, I think you should spawn in with maybe 10 grand or so. And if you want to go perform plastic surgery on yourself, say, hey, I, when I registered my character, I didn't like the way my character looked. Well, you can come back to the back of Sandy Shores PD here at the medical department, and you can access the menu with this little blue thing by pressing E and change out pretty much everything you did um, as far as skin, except for your clothing. Um, so that's how that's going to work. And before we go any further, I just want to point out some of the chat commands for you. So in the chat here, you can see by pressing T, we open the chat box. So if you already did, there's a couple different types of chat you can use. So the first one you'll see a lot, unfortunately, is called OOC. So that is out of character. So when you are not in an RP situation, you're just talking out of character. Say you're saying, hey, what's up? I'm in the server, guys. Um, you're going to use OOC. So you just type slash OOC. And then whatever your message is, do not spam OOC or you'll be muted by a moderator or administrator. Do not spam OOC. Like we can't stress that enough, guys. Um, so the next one is going to be in chat, in character chat. So that's just by typing in the chat. You don't have to type anything. Hello. Um, that's how you can uh, go about typing in character. Um, you can also, when you're RPing things, you can type slash me and says makes a video. So it comes up C Banks makes a video. And that is your uh, in character. It can also be used for RPing stuff. Um, so that's kind of your in character chat there. Now, another thing you can use, if you need help at any point, dial slash, or type slash 911, like, I need help, please call at whatever your cell phone number is, like I've told you before, and a police officer uh, can assist you that way, or EMS. Uh, the next thing, if you need to report somebody for RDM, random deathmatch, VDM, vehicular deathmatch, fail RP, or fear RP, you can use slash report. Uh, and then space, whatever your report is, and an admin or a moderator will get to you with that report, um, of, or about that report, rather. So those are just a few of the chat commands. Um, you can also go through, and you can type character list, so slash car list. You can see I have three characters here. Uh, you can have a max of three characters in the server. Um, you can see, if you can type slash shuff, which will shuff you to the next seat over in your vehicle. I won't do it. I'm actually in the driver's seat now, so if you're in the other seat, and you type slash shuff, and your friend gets killed um, or something like that, you can shuffle over to the next seat. Um, another one that you can use is the roll W, and that's going to roll my window down. Like I just rolled my window down. And um, so that's how you are going to roll your window down. If a cop asks you to roll your window down, it's slash roll W. And so you can see it says in the chat, windows down, windows up. Um, that is about all of the chat commands. If you There's a few other commands that you can use for the characters. Um, you can use car list or slash car character slash car to see what character you're currently in. So that's just a few of the, uh, chat commands that you can use. All right. So after that point there, um, for the bank, so there's an ATM conveniently located on the backside of Sandy Shores PD here for you. So to access the ATM, you just hit E the ATM right now. I have $751,000 in my pocket and 7 million in the bank. And I do have some dirty money. That's because I got that off a bank robbery that I need to submit for our police department fund, which is down here. I'm actually a part of the Blaine County Sheriff's office. And we'll go into detail about the different factions here in one minute. So you're like, after I register, um, and I've created my character and all that good stuff, you're like, well, now what I need a car. So what you're going to do is get a ride from somebody, or you can always RP stealing a car. Uh, but not in green zones. So you can see at the bottom there, it's like you are allowed to do violent or illegal role play in this area, or you are not allowed to. Green zones are where you cannot shoot, you cannot steal cars, you can't harm any other players, you can't harm vehicles in green zones. If you do, you will be punished by our server administrators, moderators, and helpers. Um, so do not shoot people. Uh, it won't let you shoot in a green zone anyway. Green zones are defined as, you know, uh, any police department, any government facility, hospitals, uh, EMS places, um, gas stations, any uh, things like that are defined as green zones. Uh, you should see a menu pop up for your green zone. So let's say, hey, I need a car. So you can see there's there's some cars that people have maybe got a, um, taken hostage out of or left on the side of the road. So the car dealership. So we're going to head uh, just down Joshua Road here, uh, taking a little sightseeing tour. Now you can see this red little bubble here. I'll get to this. This is Turf Wars. So this is a turf that can be captured by any official gangs of the server. So we're going to drive over to the car dealership, um, and I'll point something else out really quick here. Anytime you see anything on the mini-map with a wrench and a screwdriver, just like this, this is a repair station for your car. You can see you just pull up to the garage door here. You're going to turn your car off via the M menu for 
your vehicle. So you hit M and you can see that I have toggle engine. If the chat would go away, toggle door lock, toggle door lock vehicle and or lock max speed and save my vehicle. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to toggle the door lock so no one can get in the car and so it's me. You want to toggle your engine off. So now the engine's off. When you pull up to the repair station in chat, type slash repair and it will start uh, repairing your car. You can see down at the bottom, Justin the mechanic is looking at your car. It, it ranges in how much time it takes, but this will repair your car fully. Um, so we're actually just going to go ahead and skip this. Uh, my car is not damaged at all. It's brand new. I just got it. So let's keep making our way down um, to the car dealership. You can see in the top of my screen, it's a speed limit of 50. So I'm going 100. So I'm obviously speeding. So we should probably slow down just a little bit. You want to always follow those speed limits. And we're going to make our way over to the car dealership, which is going to be on Route 68. We're just going to keep coming up through here. We're going to pass some job sites and some houses you can buy. I'll get into the jobs in a little a minute here or two. And while I stop by this other gas station here, I'll show you this as well. So this is also another repair station and for gas in your vehicles that is shown in the bottom left hand corner right above the mini map is a little yellow bar you can see. Now I turn my car off by pressing E here and hold space bar to refuel my vehicle. You can see the yellow bar is going up, 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 up. So your car will burn gas. If you run out of gas, the car will not be drivable. Um, so you need to make sure you don't run out of gas. It will start flashing at you if you run out of gas. So now we're on Route 68 here. There's a bunch of little apartments and stuff that you can buy or rent. Um, and a 24-7, we'll come back to that in a second. We'll also come back to the money wash here. We're going to go right up the road a little bit, and we're going to go to the car dealership. All right, here we go. Car dealership, which is right around the corner here. All right, you can see we're at the car dealership. So we're going to hop out of the vehicle, run over here. Let's see. Access the menu. Wow, look, you can buy vehicles. So you're going to need to get off money to do this first. So this is where you're going to come to buy your vehicle. Um, and once you do that, once you get enough money, well, you can come back here and buy your vehicle. Uh, let's get back in the car and I'll explain how we can get money and a few other things on the server. So if you want to change your clothing, you can come to the clothing store. There is one located here. These are located on the map by the orange clothing icon. You can see clothes. There's 14 of them located on the map. There's another one down the road. Uh, there's a few down in Los Santos, and uh, there's a few up here, and there's one up in uh, up near the top of Blaine County. So that is what how you will change your clothes. There's another repair station and a gas station here. There's also a 24/7 and a bank here as well. Now, if I get out of my vehicle here and we go inside the 24/7, you have a food and water limit. So you can see there is two bars. Uh, once these advertisements move, there is two bars above me. Uh, that the uh, blue one is your water level or your uh, your or your, uh, excuse me your liquid level and your body your fluids how much fluid you have in your body and the yellow bar is for your uh, food so you can see those there so if I hit enter we're gonna buy some water at the 24/7 using our arrow keys I want five of those and I want some hamburgers five hamburgers cool I just bought that now how do I eat them that's the next question you're probably gonna have press the F2 button on your keyboard this will bring up your personal inventory. I have a few things in there from a recent PD raid we did. And you're going to scroll down until you see hamburger, press enter, and you want to hit use. And your player will start eating his the hamburger. And you can use these until you see that yellow bar all the way at the bottom fill up full. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing with water. And now we are good on food for a good little while. He drinks the water. Get back in the vehicle here. So that's what you can buy at the convenience stores. You can also buy drills and bags and things like that for your robberies, which we'll get to momentarily. So we're going to go down the road here a little bit, and we're going to stop here, and we're going to pull up something. Don't drive like I do. We're going to pull up the tablet in-game. So that's that's can be pulled up by hitting the tilde key on your keyboard. That is beside the number one. So hit that tilde key, and it pulls up our iPad in-game tablet. So we have a few options here. We have hotkeys and commands, which will give you server hotkeys, which will explain pretty much everything that I'm telling you now. That's why I'm not going to go through everything. So this is how you can see all of the stuff that you will need to play in the game. So I'm going to go back by hitting the home button here. We have laws. You can find all the laws for the server. Um, there's little tabs down here, citations, different little tabs. It gives you all the laws for the server. And we have rules. Very important you read all the rules for the server. You can scroll down here. Um, this will give you every single rule our server has. 
So make sure you read through these thoroughly. There's also these on the Discord. If you're not in the Discord already, you should be in that because five of them will not let you in the server if you're not in Discord. Job tutorials. So that's what we're going to get to next. So job descriptions. Uh, this is how you're going to go jobs. We have a jobs list. So we have a fueler, a tailor, lumberjack, slaughter butcher, fisherman, miner, mechanic. Uh, mechanic you actually have to apply for now. Um, so you will not be able to get that. So if we just go down to the tailor, it'll tell you all the jobs and where you can go to start those jobs. So if you want a job to make some money legally, uh, then this is the place to go. Uh, the CAD can also be accessed via the tablet. Uh, you can log in with your username and password. As well as 10 codes for police and a little bitty game of Snake if you ever get bored. So we can hit new game and play with your arrow keys and you can play Snake if you really get bored. And that's going to do it for the tablet. You can hit the home button to close out of that. Um, so robberies. How do you rob a store? How do you rob a bank? Etc. Etc. So if the store is robbable, say you pull up to this 24-7 here and you want to go rob this store and you want to make some money. Let's walk in the 24-7. We're going to go all the way in the back. And you can see there's uh, one little door here. So this store is unfortunately not robbable, but if it was, you go in the back, you'll see something like a red little icon here, and you'll hit E to start the robbery. And the robbery will take anywhere from 90 to about 300 and some seconds, depending on what you do. You can rob banks, you can rob stores, uh, but please expect a police response. So have your getaway and stuff planned out uh, if you have a if you're robbing somewhere. So that's how you rob stores and make money. You can either rob the store, make the money via job, or the store as the dirty money. Now, you can see that I have $175,000 of dirty money in my account. Now, that is indicated by that red money icon in the top right-hand corner. So you're like, well, I just robbed a store, and I have dirty money on me. So how do I get that actually into my money, and so I don't get caught with dirty money if I ever get pulled over by the police? Well, how you're going to do that, you're going to make your way to the money wash here. So the money wash is located on the back side of this clothing store. So if I hop out, I'll pull up the mini-map so you can get a better view. The money wash is right if you take Sandy Shores Airfield and you zoom in here, it's got a red money symbol on it and it says money wash. You want to come here, you're going to go in this door, enter the building by pressing E and it will load up and you can see now we are inside the money wash. So we have a bunch of washers full of money, money wash, right? And we can see all the money on the table. So you're going to walk up to one of these washers, you're going to press E to access the money wash. And I want to wash all $175,000, $725,000 of money that I have, wash it. Boom, the money is washed and it automatically populates in your account in the top right hand corner. You can see that I went up from 700,000 and something to 900,000 and something. So now that money is washed and you have no longer have dirty money on you. And I will deposit that into our PD uh, firm here shortly. So that's the money wash. I have explained clothing. I have explained uh, the jobs. I've explained how to register. I will link the videos for CAD and clearing your 5M server cache in the description below. If you have any questions, you can always come into our Discord. There is a specific newbie help chat um, text channel, and there's also a tech support help channel if you need help. So those are the two ways uh, that you are going to get your help is via these videos. And if you need other assistance, then you can uh, go type in a helper, moderator, admin, or somebody will help you out in those chat rooms in our Discord. So I'll link everything down in the description below. Um, I hope this video helped a lot of you new guys that are just joining the server. Uh, if you have any other questions, please post in those two chat rooms. Um, preferably do not comment on this video with your questions. Please use the chat rooms in our Discord server. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description below, and I hope to see you playing on the server soon. Thanks for watching.